This is Shomshika presenting before you today's bulletin. First, the national news. India is facing a big challenge over the coronavirus outbreak, but the resilience and aspirations of the people have ensured that the country is holding its own, said Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday. Delivering the keynote address at India-US Strategic Partnership Forum, the Prime Minister gave a detailed account of how the country is gaining ground in the battle with the pandemic as well as advancing in other areas. India's gross domestic product contracted 23.9% in the first quarter of financial year 2020-21, lowest is 24 years according to the government data released on Monday. This is the worst quarterly GDP numbers even recorded since India started compiling GDP data on quarterly basis in 1996. The number announced by the government is in consonance with market expectations considering the economic disruption caused by the coronavirus pandemic and subsequent lockdown across the country which began in the last week of March. Soon after the Indian government banned PUBG, Tencent lost $14 billion in market value and its shares fell 2% on Thursday, snapping two straight sessions of gain. Notably, India is PUBG Mobile's biggest market accounting for roughly 175 million installs. Though PUBG was created by a South Korean gaming company named Bluehole, it was the Chinese gaming company Tencent which brought its mobile version. Tencent holds a 10% stock in PUBG's parent company Bluehole. The move comes amid fresh border tension with China in Ladakh. Now the sports news. Kerala Blasters FC on Wednesday announced the signing of Argentina midfielder Facundo Abel Pereira for the upcoming ISL season. Hailing from Argentina and poor city of Zarate, Pereira is the first foreign signing for KBFC this season and will be the second foreigner in the squad after Sergio Sindoncha, who decided to continue his association with the club for one more season. The COVID-19 pandemic is likely to have an effect on the presence of ICC elite panel amperes in IPL. BCCI was keen on dropping in the services of more amperes from ICC's elite panel, but only three overseas elite amperes have agreed, while others have turned down the request. As for the elite panel of match referees, only Javago Srinath is present. Now the Northeast News. The Assam Assembly passed several bills on the last of the autumn session on Thursday. The Assam Legislative Assembly, which met on 31st August, adjourned Sainjai at the conclusion of citing held on 3rd September. The state-level police recruitment board Assam on 3rd September released admit code for the written examination to be conducted for the recruitment of some inspector. UB in Assam Police in pursuance to advertised issued on 11th April 2018 and notice issued on 6th November 2019. The written test for recruitment of 597 posts of sub-inspector UB in Assam Police will be conducted on 20th September 2020 in all districts of the state. Now the regional news. An IT Silter achieved worldwide ranking after getting listed in Times Higher Education World University ranking released on Wednesday. This is for the first time since inception of an IT Silter. It had made itself into an international list. An IT Silter have been featured in the Times Higher Education World University ranking with a global rank in the band of 801 out of 1000. Wednesday at around 11 o'clock at night, some peddlers of Ambikapa saw a person sleeping in the corridor of Copper Tip as he was tested corona positive at Adhachan school. Some youths in the area tried to get him admitted to the hospital, but he refused. Despite of many attempts, the people could not be able to reach him to the hospital. 
Soon the General Secretary of Ambika Poti Torun Shongo, Ajay Rai and BGP leader Sumita Shengupta took the initiative to send the man to the hospital when he came to sleep at his appointed place at night. But despite trying, they could not manage for the ambulance and called the journalist of Shamik Proshongo Rahul Dev. Rahul called district media expert Shumon Chodhuryan immediately. He took an initiative and sent an ambulance and sent the person to the Shala Vilda Quarantine Center. The General Secretary of Tarun Shongo Ajay Rai said that elderly person was a resident of Hitesh Bishwas Road. Today, in the irony of fate, he became footpath dwellers. After we saw him sleeping here, I and two members of Tarun Shongo, Shain Mujumdar and Pina Kroy, along with the BJP leader Shumita Shengupta, rushed to the place but could not do anything without the help of my friend Rahul. And many thanks to Shumon Babu for extending his hand. Helpless person, at least the man will get medical treatments, said Ajay Rai. That's all for today's bulletin. Have a nice day. Thank you.